Hi guys, this is Christian from swim2fly.com. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to swim backstroke in three simple steps and one lesson. So the backstroke is just after the freestyle to learn how to swim. It's pretty easy. It's the same stroke but with reverse arm. So the step number one to learn how to swim backstroke is as for the freestyle to learn how to start on the wall into the arrow position. There is two arrow positions. You can have the arrow position with the arms far away on the top, which is the advanced arrow position. But for real beginners, you can have simply the position with your hand along the body and learn how to float on the back by kicking with your legs up. So your legs are kicking on the surface, don't bend your knees, and make sure your, your stomach is not drowning into the water. So step number one, Round swim backstroke is to be flat, looking at the sky, relax with your hand along the body, and just just learn how to kick and glide on the back. See, and I just kick. All right. So my body is not drowning in the water. My stomach is not going too deep. My butt is not sitting inside the water. I'm just flat and I'm gliding. Okay, I do again one more time. Step number one for the backstroke. The arrow backstroke with your hands along the body. The easy version. Relax your neck, look at the sky, and push on the wall to start. All right. So this is the step number one, arrow backstroke. Um, you, Ima, you need to learn a skill specific for the backstroke as when you swim backstroke sometimes waves might come into your, your face, right? So you, do not, you don't need to stop at that moment, you just need to learn how to exhale from your sinus, from your nose. So if not, the waves goes on your face, the water goes inside your nose and then it's painful, it's something that nobody likes. So when that happens, just sneeze with your nose in the water, when you know you know how to do it here, you can learn how to do it on the back. If you do it when I'm looking at the sky, the water don't go inside my sinus. I'm fine. I blow from my nose. If you don't, the water goes inside and ah, it will be not, not something you will enjoy. You try again, take a big breath and sneeze from your sinus. Okay? So this is a very important skill when you swim backstroke. Every time you feel a wave coming toward your face, sneeze from your nose, okay? Otherwise you practice. So the step number two to learn how to swim backstroke is to execute the arrow backstroke and to swim with only one hand. Okay, so I learn how to do one hand only. I do a big stroke behind, pull in the water with my hand open, pull, 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 pull to the end until my legs and going back, when I go back, I turn, my little fingers is the first fingers to go in the water. I turn, I, I don't bend my arms, right? I do big, 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 big stroke toward the sky. My little fingers into the water first. Then I pull with my hand. And I go back, I repeat. Okay, it's on the other side than the freestyle. The freestyle is going this way, back stroke is going the other way, okay? So you learn how to feel it on your shoulders. Roll your shoulders, try to touch your ears with your shoulders. Just the hand is relaxed, okay? Stay flat and you just kick. Let's try. Step number two, backstroke with only one hand. And. All right, so. I roll my shoulders, stretching my hand to the sky. My fingers is the first to touch it. I pull, after pulling, I twist my hand. Up, 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 touch my shoulders with my ears. Far away behind and pull in the water, okay? Don't bend your arms, it's pretty easy. We do on the other side, same, same. And Just right here. So when I can do my step number two, it's like arrow backstroke and backstroke with only one hand, then I can try to do with both hands. 
So this time, remember, the backstroke is both end together in the same time, but on opposite direction. When one hand is up, the other one is down. And then you need to learn how to roll your shoulders, right? So I'm here and I pull with one and I go back with the other one. See? Up. So I go back. And one pull, one go ahead. One pull, one go ahead. It's not like one hand after one hand. One hand after another one. Okay, that is not the real backstroke. The real backstroke could be two hands together. One up, one down, and you have to do together. Up together. Up together. Up together. Okay? So you need to roll both hands together. You practice for the step number three. Push on the wall, you do your arrow backstroke, and you both both hands together. Easy. Remember to roll your shoulders, touch your ears with your shoulders, so little tips, stretch on your hands, little fingers first in contact. Try one more time. Go slowly when you learn, it's simple. Feel it, and go. All right, you will need to practice a few times to feel comfortable, but that's the basic to learn how to swing back straight, okay? So three steps, remember, arrow backstroke, just kick, the position to be on the back. Second, backstroke, only one hand to feel the right movement. And then do your two hands for the last step. Two hands together, opposite, and simple. All right? This is Christian from swimflat.com. You can download our methods directly on the website or get your swimming lesson with us. Thank you.